What's up, Facebook? What's up, YouTube? I hope you guys are having an incredible weekend and awesome finish to your weekend. Hope you're ready to get back to the grind tomorrow morning. Hey, I, I want to do a quick video. How can you guys make $187,460 per year as an insurance agent? How is that even possible? For you to do that in one single year, make $187,460. $67 in one single year. It's been a while since I've done a specific. What's up, Richard? What's up, man? I hope you're doing well, buddy. Hey, it's been a while since I've done a. Uh, if you're watching on Facebook, make sure you, you jump over to YouTube and make sure you're a subscriber of YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, hey, make sure you jump over to Facebook and make sure you like our. Uh, what's up, RJ? What's up, brother? Hey, 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 man. Hey, so how do you guys make $187,000? i am already sweating out here in this heat, in this Missouri humidity. How do you guys make $187,460 per year as an insurance agent? I'm going to break all that down right now live on Facebook and YouTube, walking through the exact steps. This isn't me trying to pitch anything. This isn't me trying to sell anything. This is me simply telling you the exact steps of how you can make almost $200,000 every single year in the insurance business. The first step is you need 25 to 30 solid final expense leads. Every, it could even be life insurance leads, but I'm going to use final expense as an example. 25 to 30 final expense leads every single week. If you're not, con if, if you don't have good leads and if you're not consistent, then everything I'm telling you will not work because you won't do it long term. The leads won't produce the kind of results I'm going to talk about. And I'm going to talk about the specific types of leads as well, because yeah, you need 25 to 30 leads consistently every single week. What type of leads am I talking about? I'm talking about our digital leads at securityemitter.com. I'm talking about any direct mail leads. I'm not really talking about telemarketing leads um, only because with telemarketing leads, I've noticed that my actual sit ratio is lower. People stand me up, just lower quality client. My closing ratio is lower. My app size is smaller and my retention is lower. So I don't always, I don't really recommend telemarketing leads. Uh, our digital leads do really, really well. Our agents end up sitting with about 40, 50% of all of our uh, digital leads that we have on our site. And so that's something I would check out uh, and use. So 25 to 30 leads every single week. Yeah, you have to spend five to 600 bucks a week. But if you can spend 25, 30 grand a year in exchange for $187,000 per year, $200,000 per year, would you do it? If you won't spend 500 bucks a week on your business, you're thinking too small. And you don't believe in yourself. Once you have confidence in yourself, you start spending money, then you'll start to see some results. Those top agents, those agents making a couple hundred grand a year, they believe in themselves. They take risk. They spend money in them on themselves. And so, hey, you want to make that kind of money? You got to you got to spend some money. It takes money to make money, not always, but it sure doesn't hurt. Uh, so, what's going to happen when you when you when when you're working about twenty five to thirty leads every single week? What's going to happen? The goal is, and, and I, I don't care how many leads it takes, the, what really, what is really required for this number to happen is you have to sit with 10. I'm not, I'm not worried about appointments and I appreciate everybody joining. What's up, Trevor? Appreciate everybody joining. RJ, Richard, what's up guys? Appreciate you joining. I appreciate all the thumbs up. I want you to comment your thoughts as we go too, please, uh, live on Facebook and YouTube. You have to sit with 10. So the goal is to actually sit and ask 10 people to buy every single week. When you do that, you'll end up selling five. And you say, well, Cody, my closing ratio is lower than that. Okay, well, where I'm getting, I'm being very conservative because because where I'm getting five apps applications from is 40% closing ratio. You sell four homes and one of those homes ends up being a double. You end up writing the husband and the wife or the, you know, the uh, grandma and the child, whatever. Uh, most likely the most likely a double house with the, with the spouse. Uh, so in that case, that's only a 40% closing ratio. I know when I sit with 10 people, my closing ratio is a lot greater than 40%, but because it's 40%, you end up selling five. So I'm being very, very, very conservative with my numbers. You can probably make it work with eight sets every week, but I'm going to shoot for 10. I want to be very conservative. Again, there's, there's variables. There's things that'll happen. You'll get on a bad streak, a hot streak. It's, it's all part of sales. So, Sit with 10, you end up selling five. What will your average case size be? About 721, about 720, 
around there, a little more uh, per year of, of annual premium. Um, what's up, buddy? Migdalia Santana. Hey, hey, man. I'm a brand new agent, and all your advice is helping me. Thank you very much, brother. I really appreciate that, man. Lawrence, what's up, brother? Dude, I'm here to help people. Uh, I've, I've been very fortunate. I was able to make $117,361 and like 16 cents at 19 years old in college playing basketball. And if I can give you guys the steps, you got to, you got to, because you have to know the steps. You got to buy leads and then you got to work the numbers and you got to be consistent with it. So I appreciate all the kind words. What's up? Appreciate it. Uh, so about 60, I would say the average app size is about 60 to $61 per month. That's about $720. Per year, you say, "Well, Cody seems high." Cody, that seems high. Our agency did uh, close to 300 apps last month, and those are the numbers that we saw. About 61 dollars per month was an average monthly premium off of every policy, every every final expense policy that we sold. And so, that's about a little over 720 dollars of, of annual premium per year. That's a, a little more than about 3600 dollars per week of annual premium. You take that times 52 weeks, that's $187,460 per year, 47, about $47,000 per quarter, and about six, a little over, a little under $16,000 per month, equating to about $3,600 a week. But again, you've got to have the leads. You've got to spend money. You've got to invest money. If, if you knew, if you were confident in yourself, you would spend five to $600 a week. Because if, if, if I if, if, if we knew and if we could look 52 weeks, 12 months from now, and I said, hey, spend $500 a week on leads, do it every week, be consistent about it, and if you work hard and you actually be, stay consistent and spend the money, then hey, you'll make 200 grand this, the, over the next 12 months. What agent wouldn't do that? The problem is some agents don't believe it. Some agents won't actually spend the money. Some agents won't take the risk. Some agents, they may take the risk for one week. They may take the risk for a month, but it takes time for a business to take off. You're not going to hit these numbers week one. You, you may not even hit these numbers week four, but it's a numbers game. Over time, you will hit these numbers. Over time, you will be a consistent agent. Over time, you will spend money and you will get it all back tenfold. Over time, if you follow this system, you will make $187,460 every single year as an insurance agent. And I'm actually being really conservative conservative because if I'm working 25 to 30 leads every single week, I'm going to sit, I'm going to, well, I'm going to set more, which, so say, say you set 12 to 12 to 12 to 15 appointments a week. You're going to sit, sit with 10. I always want to sit with 10. The goal to succeed as, as an insurance agent is sit with 10, run 10 appointments. If you sit with 10, you end up selling more than five because even if you have a forty percent closing ratio, say you sell, say you sell four homes, you sit in ten homes and you only sell four. That's not even that good. Because again, I want to be conservative. I don't want this to be some crazy pie in the sky number that people can't do. You sit with, you you end up selling five five applications, four homes. One home is a double. You sell a final expense or life insurance policy to the wife and the husband, and you end up selling five every single week. And I'm telling you what, when I sit with 10, I end up with more than five apps and you can too. Law of averages always work in your favor. Great stuff. Cody. Thank you, RJ. Appreciate it, brother. Dude, that's where Dylan, what's up, man? That's what, that's what we do. If you knew that you could spend $500 a week, you'd freaking take out a loan. You'd ask family, you'd get a part-time job. You'd take out a credit card. What's up, babe? Lauren's joining on Facebook, whatever it takes. What happened with the video? Dude, are, am, am, am I losing you? Am I losing you with my my incredible internet while I'm outside? Uh, if, if you did you five hundred measly dollars every single week, and that you would end up making close to two hundred thousand dollars over the next twelve months, you would do it. Am I right? You would take the leap. You would take the jump. You would invest the money. You would do whatever it took. Now. What keeps agents from doing, from hitting this right here, right now? What keeps agents, what holds agents back from doing this? Number one, number one reason. What do you guys think? What do you think the reasons why agents don't make it happen every single week? I made 117 grand at 19 in college playing basketball. And it was because I sat, what's up TD? What's up Thomas? 
that's how the only, only reason I made 117 K is I, as at 19 is I sat with 10 people. I'm a big believer in what's up, Matt. I'm a big believer in sit with 10. If you sit with 10, dude, you'll make 150, 200 grand. If you're just around watching this and joining this, I'll walk through all the numbers. You got to make sure you go back and watch this because if you, if you work 25 to 30 leads a week and you sit, say you set 12 or 15 appointments, some will stand you up. Some will no show you all the bankers, life agents say they'll port you whatever it is. You sit with 10. When you sit with 10, you sell five. You say, Cody, well, I, maybe I won't sell five. I'm talking about four homes. I'm talking about four. You, you're, you're a 40% closer, which is, which is not even good. But I want to be conservative because I want you guys to believe every word I say. What's up, Timothy? You so, so say you sell, say you say you sell four homes, but one ends up being a double, a husband and a wife. You end up with five applications. We see an average of about sixty to sixty-one dollars a month of monthly premium for the policies that we sell. That's about about seven hundred and twenty dollars per year. You take seven hundred and twenty dollars of annual premium times five apps every single week. What's up, brother? You'll end up submitting about $3,600 of annual premium every single week. You take it to take it times 52 weeks. That's $187,460 per year, $47,000 a quarter and about 16 grand a month, about 3,600 bucks a week. But what's the reasons why I want to hear from you guys. What's the reasons why that agents never actually do these specific numbers. And we can talk about it all day. Agents can say they can do it. Agents act like they can do it. But what's the real reason why agents don't hit these exact numbers every single year? 92% of agents fail. Maybe that statistic isn't 100% accurate, but freak, it's close, so who cares? What, what's the exact reason? What's the exact reasons why I can give someone the step? What's up, brother? What's the exact reasons why I can give every insurance agent in the world exact step-by-step -step directions? on how to make $187,460. What's up, Vince? What's the exact reasons why I can give you step-by-step? -step? I've, I've been going 12 minutes. I've given you exact step-by-step step 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 instructions on how to make $187,460 over the next 12 months. Why? But 92% of agents will still fail, and I'll give them the exact step-by-step -step instructions on how not being consistent dedication. Dude, you're exactly right. No clear goals and compelling why. RJ, 100%. The biggest thing is Lauren says in order to hit those numbers, agents have to step outside of his or her comfort zone. A hundred percent. If y'all don't watch brain power with my wife every Monday at two central, she knows her stuff. She, she, she's lived with me. She's we've been, we've been dating since I was 19. What's up, John? 187 K you can do it. But the biggest reasons why agents won't do it is they won't, they won't spend the money. They won't take the risk. You guys see me take massive risk. Am I uncomfortable? Am I scared to freaking death? Absolutely. freaking lutely But I know that if I take the risk and if you spend five, 600 bucks a week, whatever it is, and what, you, say, you say, Cody, why do you say maybe 25 leads, maybe 30 leads? You know, because every area is different. Every agent's different. You've got to figure out the, the specific amount of leads that you need to succeed. I know that if you take the risk and you spend the money and you spend about five, 600 bucks a week, if you work direct mail leads, you have to pay more. You go to secureagentmetric.com, you can spend about five, 600 bucks a week on digital final expense leads, and then you'll end up sitting with 10. They don't spend the money. That's the first reason. Agents don't spend the money and take the risk. If you take the risk, be willing to, be willing to risk it to get the biscuit. That's exactly right. If you don't take the risk and you don't spend the money, then none of this ever starts the fruition. Spend the money, take the risk. What's up, Patrice? Spend the money, take the risk. I'm showing you exactly live on camera how to make $187,460 over the next 12 months. But the reasons why agents never make it happen, and the reason why it never happens for any agents ever, is they don't spend the money and take the risk. That's that's the first reason. They don't spend the money. Once they spend the money, they're impatient. That's, that's reason number two. That's reason number two on why insurance agents, I can give them step-by-step -step instructions and 92%, what's up? 92% uh, of insurance agents will fail in this business. I can give them step-by-step -step instructions on how to make $187,460 over the next 12 months. I don't care who your upline is, who you work with, it doesn't matter. I can give anybody step-by-step -step instructions, but that doesn't mean that you'll follow the system. That doesn't mean that you'll succeed. That still means that about 92% of insurance agents will fail 
Is that number spot on statistically 100% accurate? No, no statistic ever is, but I know it's close. I've seen it all over the place. The second reason is number one reason agents, they won't, they won't stick to this because they won't spend the money. They won't take the risk. They won't take the leap. Even you right now, you're like, Cody, I can't spend five, 600 bucks a week. If you knew you'd make 200 K and if you truly believed in yourself, then you would do it. That's, that's, that's the first reason they don't spend the money. The second reason is they're impatient. They may spend the money, but they'll only do it for a week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, maybe five weeks. What's up, Sly Dizzle? They may, they may, they may spend the money. They may want to make $187,460 over the next 12 months. They may spend the money, but then they're impatient. When they don't see amazing, fantastic results in the first few weeks, they give up. They quit. I had to sit to make $117,361.16 at 19 years old in college playing basketball with working with Sly at Mutual. He's joining live on Facebook. I had to see 10 people. I had to sit with 10 people, ask 10 people, what's up, Marcel? I had to ask 10 people to buy every single week. When I sat with 10, I did really well. When I didn't was sit with 10, amazingly, I didn't do well. Now, can you see more than 10? Absolutely. But 92% of agents failing. Most agents are sitting with three people, two or three people a week max. So let's start, let's start somewhere. There's agencies out there that want you to run 40 appointments a week. Dude, that's fantastic. But if you're not going to be consistent about it, who freaking cares? You're going to end up failing. You're going to be a 92 percenter because you didn't sit with 10. I'm a big believer in, hey, get 25 to 30 leads a week. Sit with 10. You say, well, what's up, Dave? Sales director, scary mentor. You say, well, Cody, dude, I can I can set more appointments you know, than 10 when I get 30 leads, 25 to 25, 30 leads. Yes, you can. But some are going to stand you up. Some are going to port you. Some are going to change their mind. Some are not going to be there. Some are going to be shopping. Some are going to be at the doctor every day, you know, and they're not there. Sit with 10. It's realistic. You can sit with 10. If you sit with 10, you'll make almost 200K. That's, but the reason why agents never follow these steps that I've went over live on video, number one reason, they don't spend the money. What's the root of the, what's the, root of the reason why you don't spend money? Is it because you don't have the money or is it because you don't believe in yourself? It's a lot of times it's number two more than it's number one. Mountain says, what's up? I just took 30 minutes to set four appointments after call, calling about 10 leads and only one person closed out. And I got those four lined up for tomorrow. Sunday is the best day to call mountain. I love it, brother. Being an example for other agents. The number one reason why agents is they don't spend the money. They don't take the risk. They don't believe in themselves. What is it about you deep down taking a risk and being afraid? Exactly. What is it about you deep down in your heart of hearts to where you don't believe in yourself? to spend $500 on your success. I'd spend it if I had it, but I just hooked up with, with, with lead financing. So there's a 3000 in the mail right now. Hope to make dude, hope to make 287 K. I love it. Number, number one reason they don't spend the money. Number two though, they're impatient. They may spend the money for a week or two. They may spend the money for three or four weeks, but we're impatient. We don't see drastic, amazing results. We don't make 16 K that first month. Like we talked about dude, I didn't make 16K my first month. When I made 117K in my first year, it, it was a climb. It was a steady increase. I didn't see 10 people my first week. I didn't see 10 people my second week. But I told myself, no matter what, no matter how much money I got to spend, I believe in myself. No matter how much interest knowledge I have, no matter how much sales experience I have, no matter what the freak I have to do, I'm going to sit with 10 people every single week. I'm going to get to where I sit with 10 and I'm never going to look back. And I did it. I sat with 10 people about 40, for probably 35, 40 weeks of that year. I was consistent. So what other reasons? What other reasons do agents not spend the money and actually make these types of numbers when you know you can make it? A lot of agents blame leads. I would say that's a country that only they're impatient or they blame something they make they make excuses what is that my wife's in there turning on the air condition i would say the third biggest reasons is, is they make excuses they blame others or they blame the leads just because the lead says hey i never did that just because the lead says hey i'm not interested just because the lead says i already have coverage just to, just because the lead says i already have life insurance just because the lead says hey i hate your guts just because the lead says, I don't want to talk to you. I'm busy. I don't have time. 
It doesn't mean that they didn't respond. It doesn't mean that they don't have interest. It doesn't mean that you can't sell them. It doesn't mean they don't work hard. Dude, that's another good one, man. A lack of work ethic. I love that. Vince Pompanato, North Star Insurance Advisors. That dude is a telesales freaking machine. You want to learn how to telesell? You better look that dude up. I, I would say they blame to make excuses. They blame the leads. Every lead has some level of interest. It's your job to figure out what the level of interest is and to get in front of them. After that, not every lead's going to buy. Not every lead's going to set an appointment. Not every lead's going to act interested when you call. Believe it or not, not everyone wants to be sold. When you go to the mall and, and, and you go to, shoot, when you go anywhere, when you go to buy a car, you walk around, you're looking at the lot. What's the first thing that the person asks? Hey, can I help you? No. And what do you say? No, I'm just looking. What do you think clients are thinking when you call them? The, they, they don't know what they want. They don't have a clue yet. You haven't given them enough information. They don't know anything. They just know that you're calling. Hey, this guy may sell me. I don't, I don't want that. I don't want that. Hey, give us some thumbs up and share this thing out. I appreciate it. We, we got a, we got a, we got about a dozen on. What's up, Diana? We got a dozen on Facebook, a dozen on YouTube. I appreciate you guys. Just because they submitted interest, they want interest, they have interest. That doesn't mean that when you call them, that they will politely say, "Hey, what's up, Ryan? The Insurance Academy podcast. If you guys are not a card, part of the Insurance Academy, you better be." Hey, when they submit requests for interest and they have interest in leads, they have interest in they have, they have interest in something. But when you call them and they say, hey, I'm not interested. Hey, dude, I don't want to talk to you. Hey, I don't have time. I already have coverage. It's, it's your fault for believing that. They had interest. When people say, hey, I never did that, you really believe them? I mean, come on. Lead vendors aren't liars. I, can, I know I, 100% of the time when we give someone lead, they 100%, someone, someone from, from their social media accounts or their online digital advertising, whatever, somebody responded to that ad because I didn't make it up. You blame and you make excuses for the leads. The biggest reasons why agents don't make 200K every year and why 92% of agents fail. They don't spend the money. They, they don't believe in themselves. They're not confident in your ability. You're impatient. You give up after a week or two. You give up. What's up, Andrew? You give up after three weeks. You give up after four weeks. You give up. You're not committed. Number three, you blame or you make excuses for why you're not succeeding you give up, you give in. Ray Lewis at the 8% Nation Insurance Conference is going to be talking about how will you be remembered? How do you fight through pain? I promise you want to be there. When someone shows interest, how do you respond? How do you overcome them saying, I'm not interested? They showed interest, but they're window shopping. They're walking around the store and, and you're asking them, hey, Matt, how may I help you? And they're saying, I'm just looking. They don't know yet. It's your job to have some skill, have some sales ability be able to overcome those things and be actually able to get in the home and help them with what they actually have interest in. They're not going to come out and say, Hey, I'm, I'm ready to buy. Hey, I want to buy life insurance from you, Cody. I'm so glad you called. I've been begging to buy life insurance from somebody. Dude, it ain't going to happen. That, that it, we're in 2018 right now. That is never going to happen ever. These are the biggest reasons why agents don't make 200 K. I walked through step-by-step step how to make 200 K earlier on this video. The next, the next biggest reason why agents don't make 200 K is a lack of work ethic. You don't believe in yourself enough to spend the money. You're impatient. You don't see it through. You're not consistent enough, long enough. You blame and make excuses for why the leads suck or why you suck. And you, your lack of work ethic is appalling. The lack, what's up, what's up, CB? The lack of work ethic in the insurance industry makes me want to vomit. Because I know when I was 19, making 117K at 19 in college, playing basketball with no freaking time and no freaking money, I knew that I was going to do whatever it took to see 10 people every week, to ask 10 people to buy every single week, and to make 100K. It's sad how easy you give up. It's sad how little you believe in yourself. It's sad how little you will spend the money and how little amount of money you actually spend every week. If you believed in, your in yourself, you'd spend five, 600 bucks a week on leads. You'd set 12 to 15, 15 appointments. You'd end up sitting with 10. Some will change their minds. Some will say no, whatever. You'll end up sitting with 10 and you'll end up selling five applications, five policies. Maybe, maybe you're, maybe you're at a 40% closing ratio. Maybe you're, maybe you're horrible. We'll be really, we'll be really conservative. That's four homes, but you're going to get a double. You're going to get a, you're going to get a husband and wife. You're going to end up selling five apps. Average final expense premium is about 720 a year. 
our IER agency sold about uh, 300 apps last month, and we noticed about $60, $61 a month of average monthly premium. That's $3,600 a week is what you're submitting as an agent, $187,460 per year, $47,000 per quarter, $16,000 per month, and you only had to spend about five to 600 bucks a week, about $25,000 to $30,000 per year. If you knew you would make $187,460 in one year. Someone should say amen because you're in church. I love it, Campbell. What's up, brother? Tony, what's up, man? Dude, if you knew you would make $187,460 over the next 12 months, would you spend $500 a week to guarantee that it happens? Now, it won't happen when you spend $500 if, if you don't spend the money, if you're impatient and you give up too easy. If you blame the leads, you make excuses. People say they're not interested. They already have coverage. They don't have time. And you believe them or you make excuses for why you suck or why the leads suck. Or if there's a lack of work ethic, if you don't grind hard enough, if you don't do whatever it takes to see 10 people, you'll never succeed. And then the biggest thing, I preach it all the time. This is the number one reason why 92% of insurance agents fail in this business and why we're doing 8% nation, why we're doing the 8% nation insurance conference. I don't care if you go or not, but I promise you, it's going to be a blast. The biggest reason why 92% of insurance agents fail. And we got some comments on YouTube. I promise I'll get to them. Lack of consistency. Agents are not consistent. This business ends up becoming a roller coaster ride for you and everyone that you know. That's why your family tells you, hey, you shouldn't be an agent. You're 100% commission. There's no benefits. There's no retirement. There's no 401k match. You know, There's no health insurance. There's not all these things. There's no stability. Dude, you need to be clocking in. You need to, you need to have an hourly wage. Screw that. Tell your family that when you follow these steps and you make more money than anybody else in your family, and when you make more money than everyone else in your family and more money than anyone in your family has ever made before, then they'll be a believer. Then they'll listen. Then they'll start watching Facebook videos like some of my friends and family are right now wondering, dude, I can make 200K? Is this dude serious? Is this dude for real? There's people on these on Facebook and YouTube right now that know what I am saying is 100% true. There's agents right now that have jumped on that make over 200K. There's agents right now that I know on Facebook and YouTube that are watching this live video that make over 200K. I know agents that make three, four $400,000 a year. I know agents, marketers, people like myself that make over seven figures a year. I, dude, I, whether people like Lincoln Heritage or not, there's people with Lincoln, there's, there's freaking agency managers with Lincoln Heritage making eight figures, over 10 million. There's, there's people that own call centers that make, they can make $10 million, $10 million a year. There's people in this industry that own billion dollar companies. The problem, but, but, but you'll never get to that because you don't believe in yourself. You'll never get to that because you think too small. You'll never get to that because you're impatient. You'll never get to that because you don't take risk. Dude, right now I'm doing something. I'm doing one of those uncomfortable things of my life. I'm throwing a national insurance sales conference, paying Grant Cardone, Ray Lewis, Tim Story, Coach Michael Burt, I'm having it at Titan Stadium. I don't know if anybody will show up. I don't, I'm spending hundreds of thousands of dollars. I don't know if I ever get it back. Who freaking cares? I'm spending the money. I'm taking the risk. I'm not being impatient. I'm seeing it through. I'm not going to freaking give up. I'm not going to quit. You guys know me. What's up, Kevin? I'm not blaming and making excuses for why. You know what? Say we have 1,500 people at the event. Say I wanted 2,000. I'm not going to make excuses. It's my fault if I don't make 200 grand, if I don't make seven figures, if I don't make $10 million, whatever it is, it's my fault. Dude, you can even blame me if, if, if what's up, Kevin? What's up, Ronaldo? If, if you don't pay $8,460, when I've given you the exact steps to do it live on video, when I'm talking 25, 30 leads a week, set 12, 15 appointments, some will, some will port you, some, some will stand you up. You'll sit with 10. You'll end up, say, say you only sell, say you only sell. Four homes, 40% closing ratio. It's garbage. You'll end up with four apps because you you know one of, them's get, one of the homes is going to be a double. And the average final expense premium is about $720 a year, about $60, $61 a month. 
our little bitty agency did over 300 apps last month and we averaged 60, 61 a month with premium. That's six, three at $3,600 of submitted annual premium per week. That's $187,460 per year, $47,000 per quarter, $16,000 per month. All you had to spend was five to $600 per week, about 25 to 30 K per year to make $187,460. But the reason why that never happens and why 92% of agents fail, you don't spend the money and you don't take risks because you don't believe in yourself. You don't have any confidence in your ability. You're impatient. You don't see anything through. Something works for a week and then it don't work the next week and you give up. The leads are bad one week and you know what? Four weeks have gone by and you spent two grand and you hate yourself and you're not making any money and woe is me and I'm never going to succeed and you're impatient. You blame the leads. You blame yourself. You blame your sales ability. You blame your family. You blame your gas money. You blame your car blowing up. You blame, you blame, you blame your wife for being negative. It, it, all of it. You guys get leads expecting every lead to be a buyer. Leads are not interested. Leads already have coverage. Leads don't have time. Leads don't want to talk to you. Leads aren't sitting there waiting to buy from insurance guy. Believe it or not, leads are not sitting there waiting to buy from insurance guy. It doesn't happen and it never will in the history of insurance. Did you used to get better returns on direct mail 15 years ago? Absolutely. But who cares? There's other ways to get leads now. A lead. I'm going to teach you guys something real quick. A lead is someone that has some level of interest in the service that you have to offer. Now, every level is different. This is this is the key. You guys, you guys have to be able to spot their level of interest. Some have a high level of interest. They want to meet with somebody. They want to quote, and they have interest in buying. Some could care less. Their interest is so minute that it's your job to create interest. What's up, Naran? It's, it's your job to create interest and create value and to get and to, and to improve their level of interest and to get and, and increase their buying desire, increase them doing business with you. Leads are not buyers. Leads are people that have interest. What's up, Colton? Leads are people that have interest, and it's your job to improve their interest. Every lead's not interested. Every lead has no time. Every lead don't want to talk to you. Every lead is never going to buy insurance. Every lead already has coverage. Every lead is sick. I don't feel well. I don't have time to talk to you. I hate your guts. It's your job to overcome those things and to get in front of them. I've showed you exactly the exact steps of how to make 180. And, and dude, there's people on these on these videos, a dozen on Facebook, a dozen on YouTube that are making three, 400K a year. Marketers and, age, and, and, and big promoters like myself making seven figures because they had steps and they followed the steps and they spent the money. They took the risk. They weren't impatient. They didn't blame or make excuses for why they're not succeeding. They actually had a work ethic. There wasn't a, they, they, they weren't lazy. They grinded. They freaking did whatever it took. When you guys listen to Ray Lewis, Kevin, what's up, brother? When you guys listen to Ray Lewis at the 8% Nation Insurance Conference in Nashville, my company's putting it on in Nashville. Ray freaking Lewis, Grant Cardone. Ray Lewis is going to teach you to fight through pain. Ray Lewis is going to get my neighbors probably thinking nuts. Ray Lewis. What's up, Chris? Ray Lewis is going to get you guys freaking jacked up so, so crazy that you'll run through a brick wall, that you'll spend the money and take the risk, that you'll be, that you'll never be impatient, that you will never blame a lead or someone else for why you're not succeeding, that he'll teach you to work hard. He'll teach you to fight through pain. I used to blame leads, but now I understand it's human nature. It's our job to get in front of them. People want to buy. We must have to show them the value. Dude, Purcell's right. Aaron, what's up, brother? Dude, 100% right. A lead is someone with interest. You want you want, you, you want info on the conference? Go to 8percentnation.com or go, or go to secureagentmentor.com. Click on the events button. It'll take you to the website. You're impatient. You make excuses. You don't work. You're lazy. You don't freaking grind and do whatever it takes. I used to stay at the office till 10, 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night. I was 19 in college playing basketball. I had no insurance experience, no sales experience. I had no clue what I was doing. These steps, everything I'm talking about, this is exactly how I made $117,361.16. 
at 19 years old because I figured out it was a freaking numbers game. And if I sat with 10, I was going to make 100K. I have some leads that are two to four years old, 10 numbers. How would you approach them? Uh, dude, I'd, I'd uh, whatever you're more comfortable doing, whether, whether you're more comfortable calling them or door knocking them, you gotta, you gotta get some, some interest in. And so I would door knock those. I used to door knock age leads all the time. You know, Hey Betty, you don't know me. You showed some interest in our final expense program a while back. I'm assuming that someone gave you the new information. Am I right? Did, did we give that to you? Some things have changed since then. Did someone help you out? Did you purchase? Because some things have changed since then. If you got 60 seconds, I love to go over those things. Should I take off my shoes? You're waving on the way to the door. Uh, 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 assume that they want new information. Assume they want to talk to you. And assume that you're going to get in the door. When you sit with 10, when you, and, and none of this is scripted. I don't write anything down. It, it's all $1,000 days door knocking. Dude, Sylvester was out with me when we, 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 we saw what, what we do. Six or seven apps in one day. Cold canvas door knocking. No one knew who we were at all. We took risk. We weren't impatient. We stuck to it. Dude, I, we used to, I used to door knock seven, eight, nine, ten hours straight. But we had to take the risk. We had, we had to stick to the grind. We, we couldn't get impatient. We didn't blame others or ourselves or the leads for why we sucked and why we didn't succeed. The work ethic was always there. I outworked everyone in my office every single day, every week of every month. Dude, at 19, I didn't have any insurance experience. I had no sales experience. I didn't know what the freak I was doing. If I didn't grind, if I didn't outwork other people, I was going to get showed up really quickly. And last but not least, this is the number one reason why insurance, 92% of insurance agents fail. And why, unfortunately, most people watching this freaking video, what's up, Andrew? And unfortunately, why most people watching these videos will fail, 92% of agents fail, is because they're not consistent. You don't believe in yourself. You don't spend the money. You don't take the risk. You're impatient. You blame and make excuses. The leads suck. I mean, come on, man, dude. I, I can convert leads. Live scenario. I had an agent call me up about a year ago when we first started working with leads. We've been in the lead business about 18 months. Um, agent called me about it. Called in the office about a year ago and started complaining. Said, "Dude, these are awful. I didn't set appointments with none of them. Dude, he only bought ten leads for crying out loud." I said, "Okay." I was in a mood that day. I said, "Dude, you've already called them. What's up, Andrew?" I said, "Dude, I don't remember what the agent's name was." I said, "Dude, you've already called the leads. They've already spoke to you, so they should never speak to me, right?" Dude, you're calling from, you know, I don't know. I think the agent was in like Alabama or some somewhere. You're in Alabama. You're calling from a local area code from your local cell phone number. They shouldn't answer when I call from a random area code in Missouri. Am I right? All you should want from a lead is the prospect to answer. Exactly. Some level, some level of interest. I said, dude, I'm going to call your leads. The very, I had to dial a few times for someone to pick up the phone. The first lead to answer the phone. Now, this was from an agent that just got 10 leads that just totally sucked in blue chunks, right? The first lead that answered the phone, what do you guys think happened? What do you guys think happened? The first lead to answer the phone, the same lead that had already talked to someone previously, and he told me I've already talked to somebody. What do you think happened? I set the appointment. I gave it to the agent. I'm not doing that anymore, so don't even think about it. I set the appointment with the lead that he already spoke to that the agent couldn't set appointment with. The lead was garbage. It was horrible, right? I mean, it, it was it – was, was it the lead or was it the agent? Because if I called and set the appointment and gave it to the agent and then the dude ended up making a sale, what was the problem? Was it the lead or was it the agent and their lack of training? Most agents, most agents don't spend enough time role playing, training, coaching. Dude, I'd, I'd love to, uh, I'd love to do some coaching sessions with you guys. I'd love to help agents. My mission is every insurance agent in the world at some point in the future. Is that lofty? Is that stupid and saying, yep, but dude, we're going to take the risk, right? Agents need to role play and train every single day. If you're not training every single day, dude, you ought to be training. If you're not role playing with yourself and role playing with other people in your office, you got to be role playing. In my office, 
even even my consultants that, that sell leads and training and coaching sessions and products and videos, programs, and our membership and all that. What's up, Clay? Dude, I make them watch sales training videos every morning, every single morning, and then they role play with each other. Dave Coble, my, my, my sales director, he, he actually leads that off. We, we sales train every morning and the team role plays. You grab a partner and you role play and you, you role play back and forth. Like you're setting appointments, like you're selling, whatever. And make sure that you're not, don't go easy on each other. You want real life to be easier than practice. You don't want to practice on real leads. You don't want to practice on real appointments. You want real appointments and real calls to be easier than any role play you've ever experienced because you, you're prepared for this, for the situation. You're prepared for what's going to happen. You're prepared for whatever they're going to say because you're not a lackluster lazy agent. What if you could track the role play, role progress in the role playing with badges? Dude, I like that. I, I like that. That's cool. Appreciate that, Ryan. That's awesome, buddy. Uh, did you say Dave Cobbler, m and Marketing? No, uh, Dave Coble. He's, he's my marketing guy, my, my sales director there at the office for Secure Agent Mentor. Um, taking a risk of being afraid. If, uh, what has somebody ever told you they don't think that person actually mailed in the lead? Um, yeah, dude, it's happened. Uh, it's the agent's fault. Yep. If a lead's not interested, if a lead doesn't send an appointment, if a lead doesn't buy from you, it's our fault. Guess what? The agents that fail, they blame what? They blame the lead. When I don't get an appointment from a lead that I call, guess who I blame first? Do you guys think I blame the lead vendor or do you guys think I blame Cody Askins? Because dang, dude, I haven't been calling enough. I'm rusty. I didn't role play today. I didn't write down my goals. I didn't pay attention. I didn't watch training videos. I, I, I wasn't up for every call. My enthusiasm was low. And you guys know me. I'm nuts. My enthusiasm is always crazy. My, my, my entire office thinks I'm insane. But when I'm not on my game, people let me know. My assistant, my wife, my sales director, my video guy, they all say, Cody, dude, what's up with you today? I don't know, but I'm going to fix it from here on out. Yeah, I can't imagine an agent getting pissed at a lead provider trying to claim that the lead might have never mailed that. Uh would clearly be a worthless agent. Dude, it happens every day. I want every single person that's watching these videos right now or in the future to succeed. But you won't succeed. You won't make $187,460 every single year. You'll end up being a 92 percenter that fails. If you don't take risk and spend money, if you're impatient and you give up after on a, on a vendor after two, three, four weeks, if you blame and make excuses for why you aren't succeeding, if you're on Facebook, share this out. If you're on YouTube, make sure you subscribe and like this thing for me. Blame and make excuses. Your work ethic is garbage. You let people outwork you. If you know someone that outworks you, then there's something wrong with you. And you're not consistent. That's the number one reason why insurance agents fail a lack of consistency. They don't do whatever it takes and they don't stay consistent every single week. Dude, I love doing this. I guess I doing this every single night. Jeremiah, what's up, brother? Dude, I'm sorry you missed most of this, man. You got to go back and watch this. What do you guys think? Mountain, what's up, buddy? Insurance guy, Medallia. Dude, I appreciate all the, oh, Marcel, I appreciate John. I appreciate all the people joining. J JVH, dude, in the house, the tycoon. Hey, for you guys joining, what's, can someone with very bad credit do this job? Absolutely, 100%. And eventually, guess what? You'll have great credit, especially if, if, if you succeed and do well. Joey Martin, we've walked through the steps. It's on you now. We've walked through the steps of how you can make $187,460 over the next 12 months in the insurance business. And we've walked through the reasons why an agent wouldn't be able to do it. They don't spend the money and take the risk. They're impatient. They blame and make excuses for why they're not succeeding. Maybe it's the lead vendor's fault. Maybe it's, dude, maybe it's our, maybe it's, maybe it's our fault. They don't work. There's a lack of work ethic and they're not consistent week in and week out. 90, 92% of insurance agents fail because they're not consistent week in and week out every single freaking week like clockwork. They don't spend the money. They don't buy 25 to 30 leads every single week. They don't sit with 10 people. If, if I sit with 10, 
and I do less than three or four K, then I must have been upside down, blindfolded, and and and, and mute and mute that week with no car. You have scripts that you can use. Yes. We provide free scripts when you buy our leads at securitymentor.com. And we also provide scripts in our I've got like I've got like 30, 40 scripts and, and audio recordings and everything else in our members area at secureagentmentor.com. Consistency is the biggest thing of them all. Dude, it really is. Insurance guy on YouTube, you're 100 percent right. If you're watching on Facebook, dude, hey, share this sucker out for me. If you're on if you're on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. I appreciate all the thumbs up. We're up to about a dozen thumbs up on YouTube now. 14 people watching as we speak. I had about a hundred people join so far, so I appreciate it very much. What can you do? In closing, what can I do? What can Cody Askins do? to help you as an insurance agent. Are there any other questions you have before I close this thing out? I've been going about 45 minutes before I close this thing out on Facebook and YouTube. What else, how else can I help you? What other value can I provide? What's something that's missing in your business that you would love to, be able to solve? I'm gonna do something special. Anyone that's watching this video right now on Facebook and YouTube, if you call my office in the morning, I'll do a coaching, a one hour coaching session with you for they're normally, what are they normally? 500 bucks. I'll do it for 90% off. If you call my office or email my assistant, call and ask for Dave and say, Hey, Cody said last night on, on, on live on video that he would do a coaching session for me for 50 bucks, 90% off just because I'm freaking feel like it. I have a friend that is handicapped. I'm trying to talk him into coming into our industry. What would you say to him if he cannot door knock houses other than leads? Uh, you know what? I would learn to sell, uh, and I mean this well. Jason, what's up, man? I, I would, Sean. I, I would, I would, uh, I would learn to sell over the phone. I would. What's up, Samuel? I would plug in to somewhere that I can learn how to sell over the phone. For those just joining, I went through the exact ways to make $187,460 over the next 12 months. I gave you the five reasons why most agents fail. They don't, they don't take the risk. They don't spend the money. Christian, what's up, brother? They don't spend the money. They're impatient. They blame other people. They make excuses. There's a lack of work, work ethic, and they're not consistent. They're not consistent week in and week out. When someone says they're not interested, they blame the lead vendor rather than blaming their sales ability. And for those just joining us, I know we got about a couple dozen people watching right now. I told you this. If you call the office, my neighbors and dogs think I'm crazy. If you call the office in the morning and talk to, ask for Dave and say, hey, Cody's, Cody's coaching sessions. What's up, Christian? What's up, insurance guy? And say, Cody's, in, Cody's coaching sessions are normally $500 an hour. He said live on video, he would do it for 90% off just because we're watching this video and commenting and subscribing and liking and sharing and all that. I'll do it for 50 bucks. This week, you got, you got to schedule it tomorrow. This week, this week only, I'll do a one-hour coaching session with anyone that wants to get better and make more money and live role play with me. Go through a telesales script. Listen to you set appointments, whatever you want, 50 bucks. Call the office in the morning. Set it up. Dave, Dave will hook you up. Dave, Dave, will, Dave will set it up, and then Lindy will schedule it because insurance agents shouldn't, should not fail. 92% of agents fail, and it's, it, it's a tragedy. It's, it's, it's a nuisance. It's annoying. It's depressing. It makes me want to vomit. That's such a massive number. Agents should not fail. It's ridiculous. It's sad, especially, I, I mean, can we, can we add that, uh, there's a, because the, in honor of me doing coaching sessions for $50, I, I, I can only take the first 10 though in the morning. Uh, Cause that's a lot of time. Uh, training. Can we also say that there's a lack of training in, in our industry? That e even if some, even if some people bought twenty five to thirty leads every single week, and they, they and they spent the money and took the risk, and they were patient, and they didn't make excuses, and they had the work ethic, and they were consistent. That maybe, what's up, Danny? That maybe, maybe, just maybe, because they didn't have the training, that it, it that they weren't getting to the level that, that's the thing most, most people most people most people don't invest in their business most people don't go to conferences most people don't listen to audiobooks most people most people, most people don't schedule coaching sessions most people don't spend 50 bucks or 100 bucks on improving themselves the biggest thing with audiobooks books sales training the biggest thing with coaching sessions conferences events anything that you can do to improve yourself if you learn one thing at all 
that improves your business. I'm, t- I'm, I'm talking one nugget ever. Then it's 100% worth whatever you paid. And I don't care if the asking price was 25 K. Now I'm not saying to go, go spend 25 grand, but I've spent a lot of money on different stuff. And if I picked up a nugget or if I learned anything at all, then it was 100% worth it. That's the reason that goes back to, they don't spend the money. We just walked through Sean. Thanks brother. Dude, our internet leads are good, man. Our digital leads are strong, buddy. I appreciate the, appreciate the compliment about our leads. I just walked through how to, how to teach you how to make $187,460 live on video. I walk through step by step. If you're, if you're, if, if you're missing this, you got to go back and watch this. I walked through step by step a bunch of it. And I gave you the reasons why you won't, why you may not succeed and the things that are holding you back. You don't spend the money. You're impatient. You blame other people and lead vendors. There's no work ethic. You're lazy. You're not consistent enough. You give up after a week or two. And there's no training in honor of helping agents succeed and helping you guys get trained up. I'm going to do coaching sessions for this week for 90% off. That's 50 bucks. Call the office in the morning, ask for Dave, say, dude, that crazy Cody dude said he'd give a coaching session, an hour long one-on-one coaching session with me for only $50. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's stupid and it's too cheap, but, and Dave's going to get ticked off and want to kill me and tackle me in the morning for saying it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, is the guest is the high income potential high is the income potential higher, lower, or the same with telesales versus in person sales working with the same number of hours per week? Uh, it's it's higher with telesales only because of the reach, but you're going to have to spend more money on telesales. Um, you're, it's going to it's going to be a bigger num- more even more of a numbers game. I'm pilling because I got burnt July fourth out on the lake. So my forehead and nose is all pilling and driving me nuts. Uh, yeah, it's greater, dude. And Dave, Dave, Dave's already already getting on me about this coaching session. What else? What before before I close up? What what, what else can you guys use? We got about a dozen on Facebook. We've got we've got, we've got twelve thumbs up. We got about a couple dozen watching on YouTube at the moment. I appreciate everybody. You got it, buddy. I appreciate all the kind words. I appreciate everybody watching. I appreciate if you're on Facebook that you're sharing this thing out. I appreciate if you're on YouTube that you're like that you're giving me a thumbs up and that you're subscribing if you're not already subscribed. What do you guys think? I mean, am I missing something from what you guys have heard? I've been going, what's up, Tony? I've been going for 52 minutes. Am I missing something at all? If, if, if there's, I, I've got to be missing something, right? I mean, I've been going 52 minutes. I've been talking about how agents can succeed. I've, I've been telling you why agents fail. I've been teaching you how not to fail. I've got to be missing something, right? Steve. Damn, just jumping on now. Can't wait to see this again, dude. You got you got to watch this through, Gerardo. What's up, brother? You got to watch this through, man. I've I've walked through step by step how an agent can make one hundred eighty-seven thousand four hundred sixty dollars over the next twelve months. I mean, step by step in detail. What's up, brother? I talked about I talked about reasons why agents fail. Why ninety-two percent of agents fail? What's up, Sean? What's up, Tony? Appreciate you, buddy. How do you feel about seminars? Dude, I feel I, I love everything that gets me in front of people. There's a lot of people who do senior senior seminars, and they'll they'll write half a dozen apps just because they did one single seminar. Dude, power in large numbers. Get in front of people. Why do you guys think we're doing an insurance conference with a couple thousand people there? It's a it's it's attention. It, it's it's scaling. It's 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 masses. It's giving back. Step by step. <laughs> I love the, the YouTube comments are always the funniest. Is it is there a lack of training as well? Which is why I'm our coaching sessions are normally and then they may be overpriced, but I'm gonna do it for ninety percent off this week. If you call in the office and ask for Dave, I'm gonna give you a one hour coaching session, personal one on one coaching session with me for fifty bucks. It's practically free. If you learn something at all that makes you more money. Then fifty bucks or whatever you pay on your self improvement, your coaching, your role playing, your videos, your training programs, your conferences, your events, your audio books, your sales books, whatever. Then it's hundred percent worth it. Um, is seventy five percent a good deal on my current contract for final expense or of what I get? Um, what's up, Noel? I, I, I no, what's up, buddy? I try not to. I try not to comment on. Uh, it depends on your situation. I don't ever want to. 
dog contracts. I don't want everybody to say, hey, you can get higher contracts. I will, I will say this. There's always higher comp, but it always comes down to what you're getting in return. Are you getting some free leads? Are you getting some discounted leads? Or do you have a personal mentor that helps you and guides you? Do you, have, do you? Do you like who you're working with? Dude, I'm not here to recruit. If you like if you like working with people, that's awesome. I don't want to – I don't try to recruit anybody, dude. There's so many awesome people. There's a lot of people freaking better than me to work for. Thanks for the live shows. You're the only person I know doing them. Thank you, Sean. Dude, I enjoy those. We got to – dude, anybody that wants to be on a live show with me, come to Springfield, Missouri. We'll put you on a live insurance show. We're doing four a week right now, Monday – Tuesday, Wednesday, and Fridays, Brain Power, Live Cold Call with Cody, Deal Breakers, and Agent Nation. If you guys end up wanting to be on a live show, or if you have if you have an idea for a fifth live show per week for Thursdays, we'll do it. Do you guys provide life insurance leads? Or just final, we provide both. We provide final expense, life, mortgage protection, Spanish, Medicare. I miss one. I think I think that, I think that's all, dude. There's. The, the thing with the whole contract thing, the whole commission, the whole, the whole thing is uh, people always think it's greener on the other side. And maybe it is. But guess what? Maybe it isn't. Maybe there's always higher commission out there. But maybe you're in a good situation that you don't want to screw up. Maybe you like who you work with. Maybe they provide a lot of value. Maybe they trained you. Maybe you owe them because they taught you the world. They, 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 they gave you the world. Maybe they give you leads. Maybe they work with you. Maybe they give you discount leads. Who cares, right? 92% um, of insurance agents fail, and it drives me nuts. I hate it. I feel bad. It sucks. Jason, are your, are your leads tailored to each individual states, or do you have to get licensed in each state to get started? Um, they're tailored to specific states. What, what are the times of the shows? Every show, Timothy, what's up, brother? Dude, appreciate it, man. Thanks, Cody, for your advice and help. You're awesome. Thanks so much, buddy. Every show is at 2 o'clock Central Standard Time. I apologize for rubbing my nose. I'm peeling, and it's driving me nuts. Uh, every show, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday right now, we do four live insurance shows every week. They're all at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, I had experience, bad experience with the first – this is Luis – I had a bad experience with the first company that I worked for. Now I'm getting better at it, but I practice every day, every week. I'm meeting prospects. Not the best agent, but I'm closing. Dude, no, no agent is ever the best agent, but every agent can get better. Every Dude, every salesperson thinks they're the greatest salesperson in the world. Only reason I've been successful and I, and, and, and I do well as an agent is, and I know I'd overcome objections. I freaking work hard. I'll take risks, and I'm relentless. I never quit. Uh, we, we, we have like 23 people in our office now that are on our team at Secure Agent Mentor, and we went one by one. We do a sales meeting every day at 9.05. If you have a team, dude, you got to be training training every morning, role-playing every morning, and you got to have it, especially your sales team, and then you got to have a team meeting with your entire team every morning. We, we, we do a team meeting at 9.05 every day, and one thing we did, we, we went around the room, and I said, hey, we normally do a positive focus. We'll talk about numbers the previous day. We'll talk about our top salespeople, and then we'll, we'll give a positive focus. And I said, uh, today, instead of a positive focus, I want everyone to go around the room and say one – give one word to explain, to describe you as an individual. Everybody's great at something. My word was relentless. Uh, one of our sales guys said savage. Somebody said an ambivert. Whatever the heck that is, but 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 that's what's cool is everybody's great at something. I I, I kind of wonder what you guys are great at. If you had to describe your, think about it. You don't have to tell me, but if you had to describe yourself in one word, what would you say? We can go to about 58, 59 minutes. I'm, I'm gonna be like Tony Robbins, lose my voice eventually doing all these videos, huh? We got like 700 on YouTube. Um, do you usually do cold callings or do you always go door to door? And if you prefer one over the other, which is which? Um, when I'm working leads, I prefer to set appointments first and door knock second. When I'm doing everything 100% cold, I prefer to door knock first and call second. How, is that backwards or is that backwards? That's kind of weird. Um, but I, I, I normally like finding a senior housing complex and cold cold canvas and cold door knocking. If you're joining on Facebook, make sure you share this thing out. Please share this. I, I really appreciate it. If you're on YouTube, make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe. I, we have we have them all over all over Southwest Missouri. Um, even out in Willow Springs, there's a senior housing complex with like 120. 105, 120 people that live in that senior housing complex. Uh, I sold six or seven, like seven years ago, I sold like six or seven apps 
in one day. Cold door knocking. They weren't leads. They weren't expecting me to show up. I sold six or seven apps in one day. I think I think I door knocked from noon to like noon or one till like nine at night. It was dark and I'm still door knocking. I would describe myself as manipulative. <laughs> I think you're you you can find a better word in mountain. I'm I'm getting to know you, buddy, with all these YouTube comments, and I, you can find something better than manipulative. I promise. Uh, plus that, that sound. Answer. We've been going about. We've just hit an hour. I appreciate all the all the comments, the questions. You guys are incredible. What else can I help answer? Um, I, I'm gonna try to uh, I'm gonna try to add add this to my schedule and start doing a. Uh, live Q and a of some sort every Sunday night, you know, agents are sitting here, dude, you're either calling leads or you don't know what to do or you're hanging loose. And you know what? You're like, dang, dude, I need to be, uh, you, you need to be, you need to be doing something. Um, you need to be doing something preparing for your week. And right now you're preparing, you're learning gangster, Matt bulldog, dude, that's a good freaking one. Michael bulldog. I love that. Uh, hungry. Yeah. Let that Steve's the Steve's going to eat baby. Do you think seminars at a retirement home or door knocking is better? Um, I actually like cold canvas door knocking better than seminars, but some, it depends on the individual and depends on the area. Um, that's just a personal preference of mine. If I had the money, I'd get leads and do live transfers right now in California or something, but I'm in Ohio, so it's, I am hungry. My stomach is eating myself. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, dude, leads, uh, leads, leads in Ohio do really well. Especially What's up, Michael? Dude, we're, hey, for those of you, we, we've been going over an hour. We just walked step by step how you can make $187,460 per year. Step-by-step -step instructions as a, as a as a final expense life insurance agent, and we went through the exact reasons of why agents fail. They don't spend the money, which means they don't take risk. You don't believe in yourself. You're impatient. You, you blame others, or you blame the leads, or you blame vendors, or you blame your upline, or you blame your friends or your family. You make excuses. You don't work hard enough. There's a lack of work ethic. You're not consistent enough week in and week out to deliver the type of results that you need, and there's no training. Those that are just now joining us, call into the office in the morning. I'll give you 90% off of our coaching session. I'll do a one hour personal one-on-one -on -one coaching session for you for only 50 bucks, but you have to call in in the morning because we're only doing it for the first 10. Uh, Sean's in San Diego. People will call the cops on cold door knocking. LOL. Dude, I've had it happen to me. Um, they're not as picky in Missouri. They're pretty chill. Um, I, I've been kicked out of some no soliciting areas, so I wouldn't always recommend those, but we've got some places that there's no soliciting signs. That's funny though. Uh, guest 1992 says if selling in person, is it a plus or a minus if your spouse works with you at the appointment? Uh, it's a plus from a relationship building standpoint. It's a negative if they get in the way, if they talk at the right moment. What's up, Chris? If, 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 if they, if they talk at the wrong moment, if they interrupt, if they get in the way of you closing business, but from a relationship standpoint, every, every appointment I've ever been to that I used to take my wife to, and we didn't do that a lot. We did a little, they liked her more than me. I'm just telling her, I just did. Uh, and, and, and they feel, they feel like you're more credible, like you're more trusted. Um, it just feels more real. So you got it, buddy. Uh, when Steve says, when you point the finger on somebody else, somebody or something else, there's usually three fingers pointing right back. At you. Dude, look at that. I like that. That's good. Uh, if they've. <sighs> Jeez. All right. What else can help answer? We go about an hour. I love you guys. You guys are incredible. I'm going to start to do this every Sunday night. If I don't, call me out. Make sure you join our live shows this week. And I need you to do three things. No, four things. Four things. Number one, share this out, like and comment. Make sure everybody knows about it. Number two, I need you to uh, I need you to what were the four things again? I need you to I need you to go to apercentnation.com and reserve your ticket. I want to meet you. I want to personally meet you. Number three, I need you to call into the office 
and get a dude, be, be serious about growing your business and improving yourself. Uh, call in the office. I'll give you 90% off a coaching session, one on one coaching session with me for an hour for 50 bucks. But you got to call in the morning for the first 10 people. Um, Mountain said, Hey, the one, the, the one time I took a uh, truth is like a business, it will pay you like a business, dude. No doubt. Uh, Steve, yep. And Mountain says, Hey, the one time I took my girl in a, in a cell, I sold. Um, the one time I took my boss's wife with me is when I ran leads, I sold for houses in one day. Wow. People like that, man. Uh, so do those things and don't do these things. 92% of insurance agents fail. It doesn't have to be you. All right. You guys are incredible. For those that uh, think I better get back next Sunday, I'll be there, dude. Let's do it, brother. For those that... Uh, for those that don't think I'm real, that I don't want to help people, that I'm just in it for the money, and that I don't care about you, I think you guys know the truth. So, All right, you guys are incredible. Have an awesome rest of your night. Have a killer week. Do whatever it takes to succeed, seriously. Yeah, dude, do that. Comment on what you want me to talk about. Um, DJ, dude, we've been going by an hour, bro. We got like ton of Facebook and YouTube uh, interactions. I appreciate all the 18 likes on uh, thumbs up on YouTube. Um, Dylan, I'd rather run in rural areas. Uh, Michael bought some Facebook leads for West Palm Beach. Bulldog on the loose. See you next Sunday. Thanks, brother. Appreciate you guys. Hey, have an awesome rest of your weekend. Happy Sunday. Share this video out if you're on Facebook. Comment if you're on both. Like it with a thumbs up if you're on YouTube. Let me know what you guys want to talk about next Sunday night. And if, you have, if you're not in our Secure Agent Mentor group, go join our Secure Agent Mentor group on Facebook. I'll start a poll asking what you guys want to talk about each Sunday night. I'll give you some choices, and then you guys can choose what the topic will be every Sunday night. And we'll start talking every Sunday night live on video. Um, we walk through step-by-step step how you can make $187,460 per year as an insurance agent, step-by-step. Step. We gave you the exact specifics, and we gave you the six reasons why insurance agents fail and never hit their target. So you got it, Sean. Thank you guys. Also, I want to see you at the conference. I'm not trying to sell you, but dude, I want you guys to be at this conference. Um, 8%nation.com. Also, make sure that you guys go to uh, call in, ask for Dave in the morning. I'll give you a coaching session for an hour for 50 bucks, 90% off. You guys are incredible. Have an awesome rest of your night. A freaking sick week. Be consistent. Make two grand this week. God bless you guys. Love you guys. What's up, Tate? Hope you guys have an awesome rest of your week. Kill it. It's my birthday tomorrow, so you know I'm going to kill it. Right? <laughs>